My name is Cassandra Scanlon. I'm a senior sales consultant at DAX Asphalt and Concrete. I ended up getting into the transportation and construction industry in a little bit of a roundabout way. Uh, I knew that I wanted to work outside. That was a big priority for me. I had gotten my degree in conservation science, which I had moved to Colorado. Um, really was excited at the opportunity to work outside with that degree. But as it turns out, I found an opportunity for a project management position at an, a previous company I worked at. And I thought that would be a great way to uh, be able to work outside and meet new people and really figure out. I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. That's how I started off in project management. I was an assistant for a project management team. And then through there, I just decided that I really loved construction. I love the industry. I love being able to work inside and outside. My, my job's about 50-50, and there's a big allure to that. So um, that's really how I got in, you know, just trying to find opportunities to make sure I wasn't doing the same mundane, mundane things every day, and that's a real advantage of being in construction for sure. I did not um, get a degree in any type of construction background. However, I haven't found it to be a hindrance at all in my growth as far as being in the construction world. Uh, if anything, everybody in the construction world is really helpful at being hands-on since it's more of in a trade and I've been able to learn as I go. So having my degree in conservation science has helped me, um, you know, just grow and, and learn as far as being in school and following through and committing. But as far as being within this industry, I found it amazing that you don't have to have a degree within construction management in order to excel. The best part of my job is really hard to pinpoint. Uh, talk to me on every day is going to be a little bit different, which is maybe the best part of my job. There's different challenges to me every single day and you meet new people every single day. It's not working with the same people in the same office, which, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But one advantage of working in transportation and construction is that you do get to be out and about meeting lots of different people. As far as me personally, I work with property managers. I work with general contractors. I work with different superintendents, different, different project managers. So there, it's a really well-rounded array of people that I get to um, work with on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'd say that's probably got to be my favorite part about it. The most important thing that I would give one young woman about their career is um, also a loaded question. I've got several answers for that, but one of the most important ones would be, it's okay to not always know exactly what you want to do or where you're going or what you want to end up doing in the long run. Take it one step at a time. Um, ask questions as you go. And just do follow your heart. Do what you do what you enjoy. If you don't, if you're in a position that you're not happy with, seek out another opportunity because you will the time will pass you by faster than you know and realize. And before you know it, it's been 10 years and you're still doing something that you're not enjoying. I'm very lucky in a position that I'm in that I absolutely love it. But I did try a couple different positions within the construction industry out. That's landed me at sales consultant, which I'm, I really adore. And I wouldn't be able to be in this spot if I hadn't taken chances and moved around and tried to explore several options. What I wish somebody had told me when I was young was... It's okay to say no sometimes. I feel like um, women in any industry can easily forget the word and the power, the power of the word no. Of course, we want to excel. Of course, we want to do our job to the fullest extent. But oftentimes, we are people pleasers, and we really just want to make everybody happy and say yes to everything. And especially when I was younger, I just found myself doing so many different roles and not able to focus on my exact role so maybe I wasn't able to give a hundred percent because I was saying yes to everybody all the time so as I've grown within my career I've learned the power of the word no and um, boundaries is the biggest thing so just learn how to set up boundaries and um, learn how to say no respectfully if, if it's not something that you're comfortable with or have time for or within your job position uh, there's no shame in that, and I think people will respect you more for it.